Hello everyone, it's Monica and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm coming to you with a tutorial, but a tutorial for something else. I'm going to show you how to create those little boxes, which fits this small embellishment box. What I did, I had my first swap, uh, which I've done together with Kim Kelly, and I made one of those boxes to put my sequin mix. And once she received that swap, um, she said, okay, where did you get those little cute boxes? And I said, well, I actually made it because I had to, <laughs> because I didn't have any other way to put my sequin mix, and I just didn't want to put it into straight into comic apartment. So I made this box and she said, okay, can you, can you tell me how did you do it? So that's why I'm doing this uh, video. So uh, you will see my and Kim's swap because I recorded that video and it will be uh, published tomorrow. So tomorrow you can see uh, what Kim made for me and what I made for her. And but today I thought I will come and uh, show everyone, maybe someone will be interested, how to create those boxes. For example, this one has an acetate window, the same as I did for Kim. And I added little uh, die cut flower, which I just made just, just before uh, switching on the camera. Just to show that you can actually decorate the, those little boxes. Once you keep it uh, cl quite flat, you can close this one and it will look really nice. So let's show you how to do it. So I wrote all the measurements. So you need a card or paper, patent paper measuring a uh, three inches and seven eighths. I hope you can see everything. And uh, by three inches and one eighth. So now you need a scoreboard. Oopsie, let me just move everything because my uh, work surface is quite small today. I want you to see what I'm doing and I want you to see the measurements. So we are scoring uh, that long side. First, we're scoring at uh, 5 eighths. So that's the first score line. Then the second, 1 and 5 eighths. Then 2 and 2 eight inches and then three and two eighths then you have to put uh, your paper and the short side against that score on the score line and then you need to score at five eighths and two inches and four eighths so uh, two and a half inches because you on both sides you will have the same measurement so you can uh, turn it around so you can actually do a, a screenshot of those measurements and keep it for for the future if you want to do something like this and as you can see all those red lines uh, indicate where you have to cut so as i like you see over here you've got all those cuts you need to do let's see if you can see it and then you can actually put a um, double-sided uh, tape in one of those. It doesn't matter this side or that side because then you fold it accordingly. So uh, before I do the score lines and the cuts, I'm going to use my red liner tape because I want to create that uh, window with acetate. I've got, uh, I think this one is six millimeters. Um, six millimeters um, red liner tape and because I don't do measurements for that and because it all depends on uh, what kind of double-sided tape you have if you've got thinner of course your window will be slightly bigger so what I do I just uh, put the red liner tape around in one of those boxes so let me do it and then we can do the score lines and we can uh, cut those, make those slits in that box. And of course you need a small acetate as well. So my piece of acetate will measure, it's a roughly because it all depends what kind of bone folder you have. So it's about 
um, one and seven of the eighths by um, seven eighths of the inch. That's for the acetate. So let me put that one. Let me keep the measurements visible for you. So you can maybe write it down or as I said, I think it's easy to do a photo of that. I was thinking to create a PDF, but I'm not really, I don't really have much time today. So I thought I would just do the sketch and maybe I could actually scan it on later and do it. And let me, no, no, I don't need to peel off now. Let me just do the burnish the skull lines. Once I burnish all the score lines, uh, I can do those cuts. And you will see that this box is actually quite easy to make if you like this kind of thing. So what I do, I cut in more uh, in those small squares and I do the straight line in those re a rectangle then it's going to be nice and neat on the outside and it's going to be actually easy to uh, glue them together straight you see this one will go in so i hope you, i hope you have nice uh saturday uh it's a bit cloudy here but i think it's going to be okay it's a bit colder actually i went out to see my friends and we went for a coffee we tried to meet every two weeks um to catch up for a bit because everyone is so busy okay so these ones are done okay i will tidy up later and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my, uh, you need to have a ruler which has a, a, that metal side, just in case if you're going to, because you don't want to cut your ruler. Hope I'm not going to put my head into the shot. It's not actually easy to do it on camera. So maybe I will just do it off camera a little bit. Let me see. Yeah, you can still see it and I can see it as well. So that's why I put my double-sided tape because then I can actually put the ruler against it and uh, do those cuts. Uh, I think this one is nice and easy box and you can actually create uh, boxes for every single compartment and then it will look nice and neat. Of course, if you've got embellishments which you want to include and they wouldn't fit into those boxes, then that's that's fine but i think those boxes are quite cute looking and if you've got something loose like gems pears or anything like that it will look really nice okay i think i'll need to help myself with scissors and then what i do Turn it over and just burnish a little bit because those corners, I want them to be neat and those cuts are quite sharp. So I'm just checking if everything is nice. And if I'm happy, then I can actually, I cut out that acetate. And what do you do before you actually put it in? You can actually put it on top of your box and see if it's actually the right size. If not, then just snip it off. I think I could make it slightly smaller, which will look better for me. And yeah, I'm already using my brand new um, Pokey tool, which I received from online. And it's so comfortable in my hand that it's going to be my one of my favorite tools now because you hardly ever see me using a pokey tool but this one is really comfortable so if someone wants to have something like this uh, a pokey tool like this or in different designs you can contact Anne maybe maybe she can actually um maybe she sells them i don't know but i love mine so the, i'm putting the acetate and of course you need to burnish it and now it's time to actually 
And what I do, I've done it with the other boxes as well. I've got this little punch, so I'm going to create that notch. So I've got this punch I got off uh, Amazon, actually. This one is, I think, 16 centimeters. Yeah, 16 centimeters and I got it off Amazon. If I will be able to find it, I will link it below the video as well. Um, because I got it a few months ago, actually, maybe more than a few months ago. So I can uh, link that one below. So now I've got uh, that notch done and now it's time to glue the box together. So those little ones goes inside and yeah, just follow and the patent and make sure that you actually if something is not as it's supposed to be just adjust it to your likings because this is how i did it and it works for me if you want your box a little bit less deep then you can actually change the measurements if you want to so that's going to be my lid i need that inside you can help yourself with the pegs if you need to but i'm okay this glue is quite strong so it should be fine and this box is actually not too small and uh, uh it's easy and comfortable for your fingers at least for mine at least so i've got the top and now i need to put the lid so i like this box because it's a, a box which doesn't have separate lid and separate base and I don't know it just worked uh, out so easily for me when I was actually creating that swap for Kim so I hope she will like this um, tutorial hopefully she she will manage to to follow the tutorial as well and um, come back tomorrow for uh, for the video for the swap see that wasn't that long Yes, so that's the box. Let's see if it goes in. So I already got two. I'm putting the third one in. And you see, you can close them and everything is nice and neat. So you've got all the measurements. If you still need to make uh, some uh, notes uh, about that, that's the measurements for the acetate. But uh, make sure that you uh, do a dry run before actually adhering it to your box just in case if there will be some a uh, few millimeters off so i hope you like it let me know if you will find this actually useful um, and uh, what do you think about this little little tutorial so thank you so much for watching have a lovely saturday and i will see you tomorrow for for the video where i'm going to show you the swap i received from kim and the one i sent to her so thank you so much for watching once again and bye for now